All right, guys, welcome to my uh, front yard yet again. Sorry about the wind noise. I'm pretty excited about this project. I bought a two smoke uh, bicycle kit. No, I am not an enthusiast on this. There's plenty of people that cover this in great detail. But did they pull the head off and, and the cylinder right off the bat? No. It's gonna be pretty unexpected what you guys are gonna see. Or uh, is it? It is a $200 engine from China. What are you gonna do with that? All right guys, welcome back. Doing something a little different. A little surprise for you guys. It's not really something I'm an enthusiast about, but I figured I'll try something fun. couple of two tree videos out of this. Gas tank. I'm not gonna show you guys how to assemble this. I'm just I wanna do some experiments with it. need that for Danger, chain miscellaneous crap i probably need it looks like it's for a sprocket smoking apparatus Ah, the meat and potatoes. Go. Carburetor, handle grips. A little two smoke motor. Yep. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna do the right thing, just uh, tear her open and see what she looks like inside. First thing I see when I first open up is a bunch of junk and stuff right on top of that piston. That's a great sign. And so, what we're seeing here, some imperfections. Casting is just kind of just flimsy, but what do you expect from a China made stuff sold in America? You get what you get. You see the your intake actually has a lip in there. It's a pretty sharp lip. I think I know a guy where we're gonna go polish that up. That one's not too bad. The exhaust isn't too awful. You can definitely tell that there's a there's a slight ridge in there. Yeah, I think we could do better. Oh, your peepers in here. Yeah, there's just junk all over this uh, piston. Stuff that I wouldn't want to run in this configuration. This is. Pretty sure I have to score up the cylinder walls pretty quick. And a big old metal flake right in here. Like, look at that. Focus! There. I almost got mad. Yeah, I don't like that. Refocus! Don't worry about what that sound was. So this, this is going to be a uh, three-part video series. It's just because I don't have time to do all three parts in a weekend. I'm a working man. That's, that's just the way it is. So uh, second video, I'm going to install this two-smoke on a bicycle, and I'm going to just thrash the hell out of it. Break it in. I might break it in first. We will see. You guys have seen a couple of my videos so far, so... You, 
you never know. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get with me. We're going to learn together. I might not do things right all the time, but I do things right some of the time. So <laughs> just take that for what that is. All right, a million days has passed since I took this apart. So I'm going to blast her. Literally, I'm going to blast her with some PB blaster and some brake clean and all that nonsense. Get the chunks out of it. Gonna hone these burrs off of the, the proper tool. And uh, we'll see where it goes from there. We'll break in faster. Just trying to get the big chunks out of there because when I pull it apart, it didn't look great. Don't add oil so also, it doesn't hydro lock on me. So I got these that look like uh, cardboard uh, spacers slash gaskets for the, the base of the cylinder. But a wise man once told me, you lube these up and never sees, and you could reuse them again. Imagine a little goes a long way, but why not just put it all on there, right? If I ruin this table, my wife's gonna be pretty upset with me. I right, try knocking some of these burgers off. Looks like somebody in China probably dropped it. It's just on the skirt. I'm not trying to hit the the actual cylinder wall. There's a bevel right here, right at, right at the bottom. Yeah, it's pretty gnarly looking. There's absolutely no quality control wherever this engine came from. I'm not blaming the person that sold it to me because how they know they don't take it apart. It's a two hundred dollar engine. You're not getting a thousand dollars worth of product for two hundred bucks. And I'm gonna use this uh two stroke oil. It came with some Husqvarna at one point. Sender. Yeah, I love it when the dog barks. Yeah, I'm glad this is going smooth. I'm not struggling at all. There. I did it. Some little metal head gasket. Yeah, I'm there. Hmm. Okay, that's intake. I think it goes on that direction. I think I'm gonna have to look at my, uh, look at a picture. Yeah, I don't have anything that, I don't have a torque wrench that goes low enough. I wanna go like 30 inch pounds, but the torque wrench I have starts at 30 foot pounds. Some generic uh, spark plug. I'll swap that out uh, on the, the last video. So I think it just crushes. There's like a little O-ring in there. I don't think I like that one bit. I just feel like that's gonna suck in a whole bunch of extra air eventually. And you don't want that. Okay, so I was looking at this guy when I put it back together a day later. I was like, ah, I got one of my uh, projects situated for the future. I look at one of the still shots I took for a thumbnail. I was like, that doesn't look quite right. What did I do? Well, as you're working in the front yard, traffic going by, dogs barking, kids riding the bike, so on and so forth, you tend to make errors. One day I hope to rectify that and get a shop. And originally I had the carburetor shooting right off the front. This is a ignition side and chain side. It's like, well, I've never seen one of these installed in the front of a on any bike so we'll fix that just goes to show you doesn't matter how long you've been turning wrenches you'd be first day doing it or 15 years doing it, you're gonna make make errors you just got to be vigilant accept it when you make a mistake and push forward and fix it 
What's the worst going to happen? It's just going to break it. Thank you for staying to the end if you guys made it. I'm just a new YouTube guy just trying to figure this all out. I'm really excited to see what happens with the engine installed on a bicycle. It'll be Class A Entertainment.